Hi, it's Miss Denise and Reagan from Aram Public Library, and welcome to Cuisine for Kiddos. Well, today we have a really yummy thing to make. It's called a chocolate chip croissant casserole. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. So let's put this over here. Are you, yeah, it is hot. You didn't get burned, did you? No, no you're not. On my face. Oh, on your face. <laughs> yeah, on your face. All right. Well, should we show everybody what we're going to need to make our casserole? We will need 16 ounces of cream cheese. And I already mixed this up to make it nice and soft for us. One cup of white sugar. One tablespoon of vanilla, four eggs. Mm -hmm, that's for the vanilla. Yep. We're going to need about four to five croissants, all cut up into two inch pieces, and two cups of milk. When we have all this mixed in, the, the last thing we're going to put in is, yeah, I did that because it was open, a bag of chocolate chips. And all of this will go into a nine by 13 buttered pan. I think we're ready to get started. Our hands are washed, counters wiped off. Let's begin, shall we? Okay. so. Since the cream cheese is softened already and mixed up a little bit, we're going to add the sugar to it. Would you please pour? Mm. Oh, yeah, I think you're caught. There we go. And let's both mix this together, shall we? Until it's nicely mixed. Get right there. 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 Get that right sugar. That part? Yeah. Where else? Any place else? Right there. Am I getting it? Kind of like there. Okay. Okay. Well, you're right there. You, know, you have to get everything mixed in. Maybe we should scrape it a little bit with the spatula. Do you think? Scrape it down. Let's do that. Like that. So it all gets mixed together. Okay, next thing we're gonna put in is four eggs. And I know you're a good egg cracker. You wanna start? I think we have brown eggs. Yeah, we have two brown and two white. I'm gonna do two eggs and you do two eggs. in here, honey. Take another one. Oh, did you get a little shell on you? Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh, don't wipe it. I'll get you a paper towel. Good. Okay. Good to wipe your hands. And we also need one tablespoon of vanilla. You hold, I'll pour, and you can put it in the bowl. All right? Oh, overflowed a little. That's all right. We'll have a lot of vanilla. That's okay. We like vanilla. Okay, and let's mix. Can you help me? Does it look pretty good? We chased the egg. We did chase the egg. Mm -hmm. We want to get it mixed up pretty well. Okay, next thing to go in is milk. 
Are you nope. ready to pour the milk? Ready? I'm gonna let you pour it. Is that is that a little eggshell on you? Oh, there you go. You got it. Help me use my potty. Yeah. And mix again. Help me with this. Two cups of milk. is the croissants and this is oh this is a two and a half quart bowl so it's probably about eight or nine cups of croissants so cut up. Every single should, we, thing. should we just dump them mm -hmm. okay and now we're going to mix using the spatula yes you All right, you know what else goes in here? Mm. Here's the last thing. Are you ready? Do you want to pour or do you want me to? Um. Okay, you pour them. Just pour it all in. That's a lot of chocolate chips, isn't it? 12 ounces of chocolate chips mixed in. And the last thing we're going to do is to pour it into our buttered pan. We're just going to pour. And this will go into a 350 degree oven covered with some tin foil for 30 minutes. And then you take the foil off and cook it for another 20 minutes or 350 degrees. You know, you can make this ahead of time and let it sit. I actually made mine and let it sit overnight. And I think if you can let it sit a while, it'll, it's better because the croissants will kind of puff up from all the liquid in here. So, so this is what it looks like. And I'm not going to cook this one now. I'm going to cover it with foil and put it in the oven, in the refrigerator for a few hours and let it sit. And now, do you know what we're going to do? I'm going to cut a piece and we're going to make it look really fancy. This has had a chance to sit and cool off a little bit. And we'll make it look very fancy. Would you like to put some strawberries on it? Put a couple strawberries on it. How about whipped cream? What do you think about that? Okay, whipped cream right there. And it looks delicious. You want to taste it? Okay, here you go. You can taste. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.